So A520 is one of those forgotten chipsets of the current AM4 AMD lineup because most people either want a B550 or an X570 board. But what if you're on a super strict budget? Could an A520 board make sense? Well, let's talk about that, shall we? So A520 is the bottom of the barrel current gen chipset from AMD. If you really want to go bottom of the barrel, there is A320, but that isn't even compatible with Ryzen 3000 or 5000 chips. But naturally, there are a few major disadvantages with it. They usually don't have too many Gen 4 slots, if any. They have usually pretty poor VRNs, and they usually have lacking connectivity. So they are definitely the bottom of the barrel budget options. Now, I'm not saying they're a bad budget option. If you do have a very strict budget to stick to, A520 is still pretty good, and you still get most of the things you care about. But that's where an issue arises. Let's take a good high-end A520 motherboard like this A520 Aurus Elite. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? But it does suffer from quite a few setbacks, most notably the power delivery, as it only has 5 plus 3 phases, which isn't the best. That in itself wouldn't be a bad thing if it cost a fair price. But here's the thing, you can get a B550 version of the same board for just a tiny amount more. And that is where the problem with A520 really lies. Because with the P550 version of the Aorus Elite board, you get yourself 12 plus 2 power delivery, a Gen 4 NVMe slot, because you get no NVMe Gen 4 slots on the A520. You get yourself a extra PCIe 16X slot, though that's just physical, not electrical, and also way better connectivity out back just to name a few changes. So that's a lot of extra stuff you get for just a tiny bit more. And that's not an issue with just this board. That's an issue that plagues pretty much all high-end A520 boards because they are competing with B550. And then it just becomes an unfair battle, especially if you plan to go with a Ryzen 5000 CPU. Because right now we only have really high-end Ryzen 5000 offerings no 5600 or 5300X. You know, CPUs that actually work fine with the weaker power delivery found in A520 boards. For these kind of chips, you do want good power delivery as found in B550 or X570 boards. And then we don't know when or even if lower end Ryzen 5000 chips will become available. So that leaves A520 to the territory of mainly Ryzen 3000 CPUs, which is a pretty good pairing. You can get them for pre cheap nowadays, so they're pretty good pairing with A520. But only if you're going for a budget A520 board, something that really costs even maybe below $100. Otherwise, just go B550. The amount of extra features you get is insane. And even if you may not have enough for the B550 board, just save up that bit extra. Just save up that tiny bit extra. Trust me, you will not regret it because the amount of extra stuff you get for B550 is truly amazing. So there it is, the weird A520 conundrum, where on the budget side, it makes a ton of sense, sometimes, if you're going Ryzen 3000, while on the higher end, it makes almost no sense at all. But let me know if you have an A520 board yourself, let me know what you think of it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then hey, maybe check out Patreon, because even $1 a month goes a long way in having my channel. Truly, it really does help a lot and lets you to make way better videos and some videos on way more interesting topics. You can select between three different tiers all offering awesome benefits. So I recommend you check it out. It's coming down in the video description below. I'd also love to have my Patreons, Gavin Burns, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Ryan, Tiffany, Jacobs and Wolfie. Thank you all so, so much. And also if you're planning to pick up a A520 board, then I'm gonna link a few good ones now in the video description below with our Amazon Associates links. And if you buy anything via those links, we get some money, you need to pay anything extra, so it's a win, win. Down there, you're also gonna find a Discord if you need to talk to me or us about this or whatever else really. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.